Hello, in this dark programming video, I am going to show you the sort of generic collection in uh, Dart. So what this mean means is, is that the Dart collection can be made to hold homogeneous values and the concept of generics can be used, you know, to achieve the exact same thing. So we can force it to you know, essentially have one particular data type. I'm going to show you with lists, but the process is exactly the same for sets, for queues and for maps as well. So for a list, what we just do is put the keyword list. But before we put the name of our list, we put angle brackets, then the data type. So int in here and or, or obviously it could be any data type. I've just chosen to do int because it's simple. Then we could have, you know, a name of our list. I'm going to call it epic list equals new list angle brackets the same data type again and that's it that's all you have to do this and this would change if it was you know obviously a set q or a map but apart from that it's exactly the same the way you use it is the same as if you were using a normal you know, list or a normal set. And I've got separate videos covering all of that really cool stuff. So for epic list, we could just do epic list dot add. And I could just add some numbers to it. Two, three, I'll add two more. Four, I'll add 67 in this one, just to spice things up a bit. And we can print it. Epic list. As you can see, there we go, we have a generic list. So if you want to create a generic collection, this is the way to go. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.